Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be filming a video that I've been wanting to film for a very, very long time, which is about the school I graduated from, University of Waterloo. So the reason why I wanted to film this for a very long time was because as a high school student, not having enough information about the school that I wanted to go to was a pretty big pain point. Back in high school, I was pretty eager. I went to probably almost all of the university fairs that was avail available to me to attend. But because I didn't actually know someone that went to Waterloo, I couldn't really hear honest, candid opinions about their experiences at school. This video is going to be my down-to-earth talk about why I decided to go to Waterloo and all of my personal experiences during the five years that I went there. I will make this into a two-part video. The first part, I will be talking about academics, school spirit and campus culture, the city, so the city of Waterloo, and also school reputation. In part two of the video, I will be talking about co-op and job prospects. So let's get started. As a quick disclaimer, because I was in a STEM program myself, a lot of my opinions and experiences might be biased towards uh, the tech industry. To give you a quick gist about myself, I started school in 2012 as a Waterloo Laurier computer science double degree. I eventually switched my major to math and the current degree that I have is a bachelor of mathematics with a computer science, economics major and a business specialization. All right, so first topic, academics. Let's talk about academic difficulties. You might have heard your friends or your teachers or your parents tell you that high school and university is very, very different and the difficulty of your academics is gonna spike up. Is that true? Yes. School academics definitely does feel much more difficult compared to high school. It's not something where you could just kind of memorize overnight and wing. I def I've definitely did have some very smart friends that, I that were able to do that, but in general, it's not designed so that you can cram before exam night. When I was in high school, I've also heard of rumors saying, well, college coursework is designed to fail their students so they can kick out an X percent amount of students. Well, I don't necessarily believe that that's true, at Waterloo at least. Yes, your academics become much more difficult, but I also think the reason why a lot of people struggle to keep up with great, good grades is because of time management. So for a lot of people, this will be their first time moving out from their parents to residences or just apartments by themselves. And generally, you will have a lot of free time, unless if you're in engineering, then your schedule is pretty back to back morning to night. But because of this freedom, um, a lot of people end up having a very hard time managing time. And I think that's one of like the fundamental reasons why people find it more difficult to keep up with good grades. And obviously as a freshman, you're gonna wanna go party, you're gonna wanna go and hang out with people, go out drinking, etc., etc. So it's all about maintaining that good balance between schoolwork and also personal life. Now to make things a little bit more difficult on top of that, if you're in a co-op program, your interviews will always, always overlap with midterm periods. So that means while you're doing interview prep, you also have to study for exams. And that's going to be very, very difficult to do. I personally had instances where I had to rush through my midterm, hand it in early and sprint to make it to my interview in another building. So as you can see, time management is key. And another thing that I've noticed is a lot of people fall into the trap of not going to class. So yes, for some people, self-learning works better. Maybe your professors aren't that good at teaching, what, blah, blah, blah. But this is a very tricky game to play. This makes you fall into the trap of missing class, which means then you, you have to take out a chunk of your personal time to catch up on that coursework. And if you have a lot of these coursework, coursework backed up from different classes, then you get into that cycle of missing class again, trying to catch up on coursework, etc., etc., et and it becomes a vicious cycle. So missing class doesn't mean you get that time for free. You just have to budget that time somewhere else. So I can't emphasize enough that time management is key in university. While we're on the topic of academics, uh, let's quickly talk about the quality of education. Now, 
Because I didn't go to any other universities other than Waterloo, I can't really say what the quality of education is like compared to different schools. But what it can say is, like any other universities, you'll have professors that teach really well, and you will also have professors that don't really teach that well. What I recommend is to go on Rate My Professors, look up the professors that's teaching the course, and see what their ratings are like. Depending on that, your term might go really well or really horrible. Also, another website that I really recommend was built by Waterloo students. It's called UW Flow. I used this website a ton when I was an undergrad. It shows you things like uh, course prerequisites or anti-requisites. Also, what the difficulty of this course is, how fun this course is, and students leave their ratings of the course itself. So it's kind of like Rate My Professor, but courses. Yeah, so I highly recommend that. Go check it out. Okay, the next topic, school spirit and campus. So yes, Waterloo has a pretty bad reputation in regards to school spirit and the campus life. So obviously the campus itself is nothing close to University of Toronto and Queens in terms of how beautiful the buildings are. The overall campus looks pretty gloomy with a lot of like brick, like monotone buildings and a lot of geese poo everywhere. And I mean everywhere. <laughs> the good news is the school has been putting a lot of money into new buildings as well as renovating a lot of the old ones. Right before I graduated, uh, they started the construction for the new Student Life Center as well as the new athletic complex. So look out for that. All right, let's talk about the city of Waterloo. I'm assuming a lot of students that start at Waterloo aren't from the city of Waterloo itself. So what is the city like? If you're looking for a busy city life like downtown Toronto, you will most definitely be disappointed. Waterloo is more of kind of like formed around the two universities, University of Waterloo and Wilfrid Laurier University. So a lot of the action will be around the campus area. Now, when I started school, restaurants were pretty bad, but um, by the time I graduated, we started having a lot of franchise restaurants and kind of all of these like nicer bubble tea places, etc. So it definitely has become much better than before. Something that I did really like about Waterloo is it felt relatively safe. So like I said, because um, the whole Waterloo area and where most of the students live is around the campus, you will still you will see a lot of students that walk around there during night or even on the campus itself. And they have the Waterloo police patrolling the campus at nighttime. So I felt more comfortable um, walking around school even during night times. Obviously, I didn't roam around the campus when it was like 3, 4 a.m., but you know, kind of after the sun sets, I still felt relatively safe. In addition, um, Waterloo has these walk home buddy system where after a certain time of the day, I, I believe it's maybe nine o'clock or 11 p.m., uh, they will have two students that accom accompany you to your home as long as it's within the proximity. Um, and that's something that I really appreciated when I was in school. And so if you ever have to walk home by yourself and you don't feel safe, this is an FYI that a service like so exists. And the last topic is school reputation. So, all right, this is going to be very heavily biased in regards to the tech field because that's the industry that I'm working in right now. Waterloo is probably the most renowned university in Canada for tech companies all around the world. Um, even after I started my job in the US, kind of as an intro, I'd be like, hey, I'm from Canada. Um, the immediate response I would get is, oh, are you from Waterloo? I think that goes to show how many Waterloo interns and grads that are out in the US tech industry right now. And it also shows how well our school is recognized. And obviously in Canadian companies as well, um, during all of my internships and whatnot, there wasn't anyone that didn't know uh, what Waterloo was. So to dive into a little more personal topic, I'll kind of quickly go over why I decided to go to Waterloo. So funny story is, um, as a high school kid, I hated math, <laughs> I hated science. Those were not my favorite subjects um, and I was planning on going into business school. 
the big image that I had in my head about what I wanted to do after school was to go into consulting. So the natural instinct was to apply to business schools. At the end, I was deciding between U of T Rotman and Waterloo double degree, and I ended up choosing Waterloo. So the first reason was because of the double degree program. At the time, I thought it'd be a huge advantage to be able to graduate with two different degrees from two different schools within the five years time frame. And it was very appealing to me that I could study business while also have some kind of technical background by um, having a double degree in computer science. Long story short, that didn't pan out, but that was one of the reasons why I decided to go to Waterloo. Number two is the co-op program. As you probably heard, Waterloo has one of the biggest co-op programs uh, with a lot of connections with very, very well-established companies. And the advantage you have to be able to do five to six co-op or, in or internship terms before you graduate is huge. If you go out into the job market, you'll realize how big that benefit is. But I will keep this topic to my second video to talk a bit more about co-op and job prospects in general. So stay tuned for that. And the last reason was because of the Velocity Entrepreneurship Program that is provided by Waterloo. So Waterloo being a STEM heavy school also puts in a lot of resources into helping their student entrepreneurs thrive. They have their own incubators and um, accelerators for these startups, which was pretty appealing to me at the time because that was also another path that I was interested in pursuing. So there you have it. I know trying to choose a university is really, really tough. When I was in high school, I thought that this one decision was going to change my life forever. At the end of the day, it's not that big of a deal. So don't worry too much, regardless of where you go. If you have a goal and a good plan for it, you'll end up reaching that goal. I hope this video was able to provide you with a little bit more insight in regards to being a student at the University of Waterloo. If you have any questions, please write them down in the comments. I will try my best to answer your questions. And also stay tuned for part two of this video, which is about co-op and job prospects. So I'll see you again soon. Bye.